Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector, and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. In this video, we are going to open up a massive stack of packages that are sitting off to my left. And these packages have shown up at the P.O. box over like the last week or so, and it's time to actually open them up. And to save us a little bit of time, most of this stuff has been pre-opened, uh, but I have not seen what is inside. There is a package here that we're gonna look at first that I actually do know what's inside of it because my buddy Milt told me what it was that he was gonna send to me. What he did not tell me was what he was sending for my children, which were some really awesome toothbrush kits. It was like toothpaste, a toothbrush, and a little pouch and all that kind of stuff and it was branded spider-man so my kids absolutely love that i gave the first one the first kit to my son and of course my daughter comes over and she's like where is mine why didn't i get one i said bam here you go <laughs> so milk hooked it up and sent, sent us two and so milk brother that went over extremely well so thank you very much for that and uh this one that he sent is a really cool book uh you guys have heard me talk about the invaders for the last couple of weeks milt too is a fan of the invaders so he hooked me up with a really awesome book this is invaders annual number one from 1977 this is the story uh from avengers 71 um this is a really really cool book it is actually a Schaumburg cover, which I think is really cool. I am a fan of the Invaders. And someone recently said that it was odd that I like the Invaders, but it's pretty American, man. The, the Invaders are pretty American, and I like the juxtaposition of Submariner, the Human Torch, Toro, and then, you know, Captain America kind of thrown in there. And depending upon the composition of the team, there's a few other uh, folks that come in. But this is a really, really cool book, man. Uh, Milt, thank you very much. Uh, I just noticed that this one actually has, uh, it's like a stamp on there that says Richard O'Neill. I'm not quite sure what that's about, but that is, that is very cool. Just a really, really nice copy of this book. Um, that I'm very thankful to have in the collection. I have a lot of the Invaders books. For whatever reason, whenever I see these books, I tend to pick them up. I don't quite know why that is, but it, even if I have multiple copies, I keep buying Invaders. I like Invaders. And they're also relatively inexpensive, so it's not like I'm breaking the bank, right? So shout out to Milt for uh, King Size Annual Invaders issue number one. Just a, just a really awesome book. All right, next up, again, I've kind of pre-opened this one. And I'm not going to say who this one is from um, because I don't know what they want disclosed. So hopefully they did include a, a note inside that will allow me to give them credit for this package. So we're going to get this uh, kind of sort of opened it up already. But there's uh, some tape here holding some things in place. Uh, big fan of the painter's tape. So I dig that. The first thing that comes out is graded 9.8 white pages or bust. It is a, a magnet. I've never seen that before. I'm not quite sure who made this, but uh, that's pretty cool. It says retro in the background. So that's pretty cool. It's like a refrigerator magnet. I dig that. And what's inside of here looks to be a nice stack of books. So let me toss the uh, packaging on the floor. And this one says, heroes your mom threw <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Thankfully, my mother threw out none of my heroes when I went off to college and other things. She, My mother protected my collection, and I'm very thankful for that. She did, however, drop it off as quickly as she could once I got settled a little bit later in life, uh, but but that's what mothers do. So this is actually from uh, Goose Fang. I guess I can say who this one is from. Um, he says, 1G, here are a few tokens of appreciation for all you provide to the community. Hope you enjoy these books. Uh, the Bunny Mask Blood Red variant is an exclusive to my LCS, Heroes Your Mom Throughout, and Fat Cat Comics, their first. So there you go. Now that makes a whole lot more sense right there. I've never heard of that comic shop before. I dig I dig the name and I dig the, uh, the logo, right? Because how many stories have we heard about moms? And dad's throwing out comics, right? So I dig that. That's well done. Uh, when my buddy at RetroSys.com came out with the design on this magnet, there you go. I knew it was perfect for your channel. Love all of the robust content. So there you go. 
Ro Retro R E T R O R Y S dot com. Retro Sis. I think that's how you say that. Came out with that. That's very cool. We'll have to do our wall back there in all 9.8s to acknowledge that. So, uh, Goose Fang, thank you, brother. I definitely appreciate that. What's crazy is that I'm looking at this very first book and I. I do believe I saw this book recently online, and it could have been on Instagram. I'm honestly not sure, but that is Bunny Mask, issue number one from Aftershock. I have not read it, but I thought it was an interesting cover. You know, I really did, and this 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 could be about vampires or possibly uh, zombies from the way that she looks with the bloody mouth and almost like fangs, so that's going to be very interesting. Thank you, Goose Fang. I definitely appreciate that. And uh, there's another little stack here. So we're going to pull these out of the sleeve and see what else he sent. Uh, this is Captain Kid, Captain Kid from uh, Aftershock. There you go. Half to love what these indies are doing right now. Captain Kid, I have not seen that one before. Here is uh, The Wrong Earth. Who is this one from? Ahoy Comics. This is issue number two right there. It's a pretty cool cover. I dig that. That's a cool cover. And there's another one here. This is the Wrong Earth issue number one. That's pretty cool. I dig that. That's issue number one and then issue number two as well, both from Ahoy Comics. And then the last one is also from Ahoy Comics, but it's the free comic book day. That is very cool. I've actually been thinking about doing a video. This is uh, Dragonfly and Dragon Man. I've actually been thinking about doing a video comprised entirely of free comic book day comics because I've actually found a healthy number of them in the comic book collection. So I've been thinking about doing that. Maybe you'll see that that uh, that book again. So Goose Fang, thank you, brother. I definitely appreciate you sending over these awesome independent books because you guys know I am a fan of the indies. Uh, they are putting out some amazing content. Anything that we can do to kind of showcase what they're doing profile them a little bit more uh that i'm all for that and again shout out for uh for the cool things here from these two organizations so thank you brother i definitely appreciate that some cool stuff all right so let me toss this stuff on the floor uh there's another couple more packages let me see if i can reveal who this is um uh, okay so i think i can i think i can say this all right cool so uh, this one says here are a couple of odd books which are very interesting. The series only lasted for two issues before lawyers made sure it would not continue. There is an extra set for you to use as a trivia giveaway in the future. Thanks a lot and I enjoy all of the content and community. And I think that says Clyde. I think that says Clyde. Let me grab my note here, pardon me. I tossed it on the floor. Um, I think that's what that says. There's a C and then there's an H. So if I'm, if I'm, if I'm not giving proper credit, you definitely have my apology. Um, sorry, brother. I'm not the best with, uh, reading people's handwriting. So you have my apology for that. Let me try to separate these two. And then there's a note. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Um, Okay, okay, so let's do this. There, There is a trivia question that he has inserted in here for our benefit. So let me open this thing up. Let's see what's inside, and then maybe we will do an instant giveaway sponsored by the uh, by the person at AOK these. Oh, check that. <laughs> oh, the oh, the, these look like some interesting comics. Okay, so this is the uncensored mouse, and I don't know what to make of this cover. Uh, I don't know what this is. I'm gonna crack it open and see what's inside. A classic collection of uncensored Floyd Gutherson. I think that's how you say that. Comic strips from the 1930s, complete and uncut. This is from Inter Eternity Comics. There is issue number one, which is this one, and also issue number two right there. And I'm guessing uh, this might be the House of Mouse that shut them down. We don't want to mention their names. We don't want any trouble here. But there is a trivia question that was inserted, as I mentioned. And um, let's go ahead and we'll do this trivia question. And maybe what we'll do 
is randomly pick a winner from the comment section uh, or maybe we'll go with whoever is the first person to get it correct. I don't know which one we'll do. Possibly the first that comments. That might be the fairest way to do it. Uh, so here is the trivia question. Who were Mickey and Minnie Mouse's companions in the early newspaper strips? And so uh, this is a multi-part. I want to go ahead and say that there are two of them. Both individuals need to be named. Full names for both individuals need to be named. That is the trivia question. Who were Mickey and Minnie Mouse's companions in the early newspaper strips? So there we go. That is the trivia question. And we will go with whoever is the first to get it correct based upon the timestamp that I see. So there you go. All right. Uh, and if I butcher your name, if it's not Clyde H, please let me know. And again, you definitely have my apology. Um, you definitely have my apology. Uh, Claude H. Not the best, my bad. <laughs> All right, so let's move on to the next one. Uh, and this one, this one comes out of Canada, and you can almost always tell when it's a Canadian because of the green, uh, the green painter's tape there. So let's get this one. Oh, there's a note. All right, so let's see what this note says. Uh, <laughs> oh, it says, it says, you looked so utterly dejected when you show your alien one. I don't know if in the frenzy of moving, you were able to obtain a different copy. So I obtained two versions for you. You are a huge credit and asset to this hobby. Thank you very much. Thank you for the time you sacrificed from your family. And this is uh, from Mark. This is from Mark. I could read that writing. So there we go. That one I think is correct. And again, all these notes that people send on backing boards uh, are actually going to be saved. I save all of the notes that people send whenever people give me stuff i save all of that stuff because i just i think it's cool i think it's cool and uh wow there we go how cool is that how cool is oh really cool okay so this one is the a cover right here of alien right here that is a cool cover right there i dig this cover and could not get it from my lcs and no i did not get a copy that the, not that I remember, but I, I appreciate this. This is a cool book. I dig this cover. And uh, I think a lot of people actually sent this one in to be graded. I want to say based upon, if I remember correctly, from the CGC uh, video that, that uh, I recently recorded. This is um, reminiscent of one of the early um, alien movies. This is another variant right there. And that is a really cool cover. Just that green, creepy halo it's like, is it the planet or is it the alien head? Like this, this one's cool. This, these are cool covers for certain. Um, and uh, by this point, you guys would probably have seen uh, my recent video in which I actually found the original Aliens comic in my collection. In the extended 100K collection, I finally found issue number one of Aliens uh, from the 80s. So I'm definitely pleased about that. But this is very cool. Mark, thank you, brother. I definitely appreciate that. I appreciate all of these AOKs, man, that people send. Anytime someone takes money out of their pocket uh, to send me something, it is meaningful to me, especially when you're sending it from Canada and I know how much shipping is to and from Canada. So I definitely appreciate that. All right, so this next one, we're gonna open this one up. And again, this one's prepped. This one has a card right there with my name on it. So we're going to open this one up and we're going to see what this one says. And again, <laughs> there are some people that will recognize and understand what this is when you see it. You'll understand who this is from, regardless of whether I'm able to reveal the name. And it's just one of those things that if you know. If you know, you know what's going on. All right, so let's see what this said. Uh, when a man lives with strength and spirit, when he keeps his eye on what's most important and gives his best to each day, everything is possible for him. The world needs more men like you. That is that is a very nice card. That is very nice. And it says, wishing you everything that will make your birthday happy and your year rich with dreams 
come true. And uh, this is a birthday card for my buddy, Tina. Uh, I am very thankful for our friendship, Tina, and thank you for this card. You, your name's in here, so I'm going to assume that I can say your name. I'm just going to go ahead and assume that I can say it, but that's really cool. Here's the card, the front of the card that she sent. Very cool. And the reason I bring up the be the, the jewel is Tina likes uh, sparkly things. She likes shiny stuff. So that's why I got a kick out of that. And that's well done. So she sent what appears to be a slab. So we're going to work our way through this. And that is a nice book. And there is definitely a theme that is going on with this video right now. An accidental theme. This is a very nice book right here. This is Giant Size Invaders number one and 9.6 white pages. This is the origin of Captain America retold um, and also an all winters, all winners comics number four oh, um, homage. I did not know that. I did not know this was an homage. Very cool. Roy Thomas cover, um, John Romita cover. I'm sorry, Roy, uh, Roy Thomas story. Sorry about that. Um, this is a cool book. Just... Just cool. Just, just a cool, cool cover. I love the invaders. I really do. Tina, thank you very much. This is a nice book. This is a nice book. I, I absolutely love this. Thank you guys. And um thank you um for the humbling card. You know, I I do not make a big deal out of my birthday and when i'm recording this it is actually and i don't typically give you guys reference points it is actually before my birthday right now uh and by the time you see this it will probably be after my birthday and i will probably not have made a big deal out of that event that's just how it goes uh but i definitely appreciate the acknowledgement from tina uh and i am not surprised uh, that she remembered that it was my birthday but thank you very much for this so with that uh again Shout out to everyone that sent these amazing AOKs. I am very appreciative. I am very humbled uh, by this. And again, there is the giveaway. So uh, make sure you guys enter that down in the comment section if you haven't already. Uh, but good luck to the winner. And I will definitely bundle up those books and get them sent out to you. And we will do this for the US and Canada. We're going to open it up for everybody. So whoever gets that comment first in North America will win. All right. With that said, if you need to reach out to me, feel free to do so on Instagram at Reggie Collects. Take care.